Colder temperatures, higher air density, and faster wind speeds during winter in Canada means that there is a significant opportunity to generate lots of wind electricity. But there's one persistent problem, ice forming on the blades. It normally builds up along the leading edge of the blade, which is what's cutting into the wind, which means the blade doesn't have as much lift anymore, the wind turbine can't create as much power. So that's one problem. And when the ice buildup is bad enough, the turbine shuts itself off because it just can't produce energy anymore. The ice can come off spontaneously and get launched hundreds of meters away from the turbine, and they can be fairly large ice chunks, like 100 or more kilogram ice chunks. Wind is one of the most important renewable energy sources on the planet, and as the rollout continues to expand, some companies are helping to maximize its effectiveness. Borealis Wind aims to prevent icing on wind turbines with their internal blade heating system. We actually have technicians that will go inside the blades and we mount a fan, an electric heater, and we run a duct system inside the blade and we circulate warm air to heat the blade to 30 degrees Celsius on the inside and that allows us to keep the ice off on the outside even when the turbine's running. It's easy to install as a retrofit system, which we thought was important for the Canadian market where these wind farms had been installed without heating systems. And it's also very easy to maintain, which is important in Canada. It's tough to maintain wind farms um, when the conditions are really harsh in the winter. Borealis Wind says that their heating system can improve the reliability of wind energy in Canada and allow it to represent a larger percentage of the country's energy production. Quebec is kind of our biggest market at the moment, and so we would like to have a location in Quebec in the near future. And then Europe is the largest cold climate wind market in the world, so eventually it would be our goal to enter the European market. I started this company out of university and was very optimistic at that time of like how quickly it would be deployed. I'm excited by how far we've come. So it was started in 2016. We installed the first systems in 2018. Uh, we've sold over 20 systems since then. Uh, we've improved them a lot as well. As of the spring, so like May 2022, we had reclaimed 7,000 megawatt hours of wind energy production with the systems we'd installed, which is pretty exciting.